All right, guys, so uh, this is a new series I'm calling The Lost Files. So essentially, I found an old hard drive, a bunch of footage that's never been out. So I decided to whip something up for you guys. Check it out, let me know what you guys think. So in this particular trip, we were heading up to North Georgia. And the day before our trip, the guide we were supposed to fish with just bailed. So I remember this guy had hit me up on Facebook a few months before and offered whenever I'm in the area to hit him up. So I just sent him a message on Facebook and he was down. Essentially six hours later, me, Ty, and Tony are in the car on the road. You don't really know what to expect. You know, we just met this guy and he's gonna be on camera and our video. Ever since this trip, he's become part of the crew. Whenever I go to Georgia, I always link up with Travis. I actually have about five more of these type of episodes filmed with Travis up there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and we'll keep this thing going. Uh, a little more, you're right. Right? All right. You're my right. We'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> well, our guide, he's a sketchy dude. Uh, <laughs> a couple months ago, I was talking to Eric on Facebook, actually, about a video he'd just done over in Blue Ridge, uh, some trout fishing. He hit me up just a few days ago and said, hey, we're coming to Georgia. You're going to be around. So I said, yeah. So we came up here to Blackhawk fly fishing. Eric gives me a shout earlier about two weeks ago and wanted to come up here and do some trout fishing. So I grew up in Southwest Florida, Marco Island area, catching tarpon, snook, redfish, you name it, we got it down there pretty much. Only freshwater fishing that I've ever done is bass fishing and speck fishing on Lake Okeechobee. So anyways, we made the uh, trek from Alpharetta on up to Clarksville. Are we in Clarksville? Yeah. We're in Clarksville. Threw the waders on and uh, got all the rods ready and rigged up and headed down to the first area that we were fishing this morning. All right, man. We're gonna go right up there and see the little hemlock chicken over. We're gonna cast upstream, give it a man, let it drift that big dark water right there. It was pretty darn hot. It was, uh, I think all of us hooked up and within the first five minutes of being there and it was just one after the other after that. Greatness. Good Oh, that's awesome. How's it feel out here? It's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Beautiful land, God's country. Nice. That's sick. I think my fire lasted.
It's a big one, huh? Another double net. Oh, that was awesome. Back in the net. I like how Ty just walks away. Handful. I like it. You good? Yeah. How many is that now? Oh, oh who cares? Oh, yeah. I learned quick, you don't really count them. In this scenario. This is just, this is pretty absurd. Good yeah, fun. You want to hold it up? Get out. Get closer to the water. Alright, we're happy now? Dude, I'm not going to kill that man. Are you sure you're not going to bail? I never bail. Spanked him this morning. Had a blast. Had some nice cold beers on a cold day. Can I get a beer over here, please? <laughs> huh? A little cold in my hands. Okay. So the last spot we pull up to. All right, so the last spot we were fishing Little baby. That is, there's a hole there. Lots of casualties today though. Lost two phones. Apparently, waterproof pockets aren't real. One of spots. Yeah. Kind of crappy weather. Snowed a little bit, but. It's been nice. It's been a good day. Cold, huh? behind you. One just popped up over there. Right there. Right next to the one he had. Like it was another one that jumped out. Yeah, yeah, I just seen him. Yeah, it looked like they came over to inspect the, the fish he caught. That's chunk of it. It looks like. I got my phone in here. Can I Give me. Bring it here. Did I say dry in there? Yeah. Yeah. I had napkins in that. here. I had napkins in here, my phone, everything, everything came out dry. <laughs> this is awesome to witness. Focus. Point the face towards me. Oh yeah. That's Gucci, man. Yeah. All right. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Oh. Uh, Eric hooks into this monster rainbow. So I'm headed down river to try to net it for him. I look up and Ty's got 
this huge fish on too. I mean, both rods just boat over in the middle of the river. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> so I turned around, I'm not sure which one to go to first because they're both huge. Oh wow, holy crap. All I saw was a little shine. Oh man, that's big. And ended up netting Eric's fish first. It turned out to be like a 30 inch or just huge fish. Me and Eric got a really nice double on two big bows. They're probably about 30 inches a piece. Ty comes down to where we are. Sitting there ripping out drag. I swear to God, I thought I had a 20 pound redfish on. Eric finally gets his in the net and I try to net that fish and have, you know, get them both in the net for the picture. We're attempting to get mine in the net. Well, when he went down to try to scoop mine up. And the net just snapped. Oh, bro, I got the net. <laughs> Too much weight for this. Oh, Sorry, man. It's all good. That's my bad. The net completely broke. That's what I'm left with. So, oh. I need another net. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Damn, I didn't mean to do that for real. <laughs> that sucks. That was perfect timing right there. It was reactive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to break that. You can see the carnage. Look. Look at this. Look at the damage. We can stand, we can hold this. Holy one together, crap. Time. That's trout. <laughs> That's uh the meter. That's a good one. Why is it in front of the camera? He's about this big. Right about there. Maybe. Maybe about right there. Right there. That's about it. What was that? Epic. How many we broke the net though? Yeah. Carnage. Yeah, so we almost lost both fish. It was one of those epic moments that you'll never forget, for sure. Net full of meat. Tony's got waterproof pockets on his jacket. State of the art, waterproof pockets. He was going on and on about it all day, like, hey, give me your stuff, we'll put it in my pockets, they're waterproof, all right? So I'm like, okay, well, I brought my phone because I wanted to get some cool shots. You know, it's my first time trout fishing. Hand in my phone and, you know, five minutes later, I, I hear, oh crap. What do you mean, oh crap? That doesn't sound very good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was a toad right here. Thank you. Wipe your hands up. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Somehow water got in his pockets. The uh, waterproof pockets that he was talking about all day. My phone is sitting in a bag of rice right now. Attempting to dry out. Um. Yeah, I lost two phones, lost a net, lost some bugs, lost a couple fish. Eric cooked this fish. This one hole, the good God, it looked like a tarpon came out of the water and just, I mean, it was punching holes in the water. And I don't know what he was thinking, but he just, he just took his stuff and left. <laughs> just waiting on the big one. It's a good day, lots of fun, lots of fish. Um, cool guys, I mean, for the most part, pretty cool guys. <laughs> All right, walk away. Walk towards y'all. Let me get my beer first. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and check out the links in the description below. I got all kinds of goodies there. I got camera gear, fishing gear, fly tying stuff, anything you can think of that helps us on our journeys. All the stuff that is essential for us to create these videos. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and we'll keep this thing going.